a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right, today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021, and we're going to log into my TD Ameritrade Roth IRA. So let's jump in here. And today was a better day than any day. Well, yesterday was really, really good. But prior to yesterday, everything was bad. Everything was messed up for me. I didn't make a dime. I lost my shirt. So hopefully you guys are doing better than me. And if you are doing better than me, I don't know what stocks you had because I think the entire market was down. All right, so we're going to go to my Roth IRA. And we're going to go to positions. And we want to make the screen bigger. So big text is what we like. Let's blow this up. And as we always do, the first thing we want to do is check out dividends. So my account and transactions. And I got this set for the last 14 days. My last update was 14 days ago. And we're going to look for dividends. So my first dividend is... Stock ticker V, and V is for Visa, $11.66. Next is stock ticker SMG. This is Scott's miracle Grow dividend of $27 for a total of $38.66. And I love dividends because if the stock pays a dividend, that stock can crash or it can go to the moon. As long as that dividend is there, you get money. And like I told you guys, prior to yesterday, everything was going down, down, down. So I am happy to get $38 and 66 cents. So let's look at what did I buy? And as you guys know, when the market dips, I like to buy. So that's the only good thing. I was buying some stuff. Hopefully that it increases in price. But we will see. So let's go up to the top. And see what I bought. And we're going to pick this up starting on the 25th. I talked about uh, stock ticker SQ, which is square. I talked about that in my last video two weeks ago. So we're going to look right here. And most of the stocks that I bought were additions to my portfolio. So I'm kind of, I'm going to fly through this as quick as I can because I got a lot of buys. So I bought uh, more stock ticker GE. This is General Electric. I bought this a couple of times. I bought a brand new stock to my portfolio, which is stock ticker ABNB. And this stands for Airbnb. And I have their website up. And most people know or heard of Airbnb. This is a website that if you want to make extra money, get your hustle on, you can uh, do a short-term rental of your house or condo, apartment. And uh, you register here. People log in, put in their dates, what they're looking for. And if there's a match, they get to rent from you and you get the money from them. So... Uh, this is a new listing. Uh, they had an IPO a couple of months ago. And I saw a dip in the price. And I decided to buy. Another reason that I bought is that with the pandemic getting better, everybody wants to get the hell out the house, including me. So I think uh, travel will pick up. And if you own a stock, we will see what's going to happen. If people will make money, I hope I do. 
Next stock that I bought is stock ticker NIO, and this is NIO Technologies. And you guys might recognize uh, this stock in my portfolio. So I had this stock, I more than doubled my money. I decided to take all the profit. And it was nothing wrong with the company when I uh, sold it. It was just that if you double your money in a stock market very, very quickly, and I did that within maybe three months, which is really quick, it might be time to think about taking either all of the money or some of the money. So in this case, I decided to cash out. And because the market has been falling, I saw that the stock dipped significantly. So I decided to jump back in. So that's why you see this stock back into my portfolio. And uh, here's a website, and this is a Chinese company. All the vehicles that they manufacture are electric, and it's for the Chinese market. And um, this is a pretty strong growth company. It reminds me of Tesla when it first started out. So uh, Tesla, if you were in it, you were doubling your money, tripling, quadrupling, and at least I doubled my money with this one. So I'm back in, and we're going to see what happens. The next stock that I bought is stock ticker LSCC, and this is Lattice Semiconductor. I already own the stock. I decided to grab some more. The next stock that I bought is stock ticker NVDA, and this is NVIDIA stock. I already own it. This is uh, more to my portfolio. Next stock ticker CURI. This is Curiosity Stream. I bought more of this stock. Uh, just a note here, sometimes you can own a stock and the stock will change ticker and name. So I owned the stock, it was stock ticker SBE. I forgot what that stood for, but it's changed to stock ticker CHPT and this stands for charge point. So only thing changed was the name of the company, why they changed the name of the company, Maybe this new name, ChargePoint, better represents what they were doing. The next stock that I bought, I bought more of NIO. I bought more FUBO stock ticker, and this is Fubo TV. I bought more stock ticker SPT, and this is Sprout Social. I already own it. Just grab some more. I bought more GE. I bought uh, a brand new stock to my portfolio. This is stock ticker UPS, and this stands for United Parcel Service. I have their website up, and everybody heard of UPS. It's the guys with the brown truck. And the reason I decided to buy this stock is that they have a new CEO I was reading about her. She seems pretty progressive. She has a lot of ideals and changes she wants to do with the company. The company is profitable, and it was a small dip, and I decided to buy on a dip. And also with e-commerce booming, if you buy something, you got to ship it. And this is one of the go-to companies that people use to ship product from A to B. The next stock that I bought, which is more of stock ticker BIG. This is Big Lots. I added to the uh, portfolio what I already had. I also added Berkshire to my portfolio. I already had that. Again, more General Electric. I added more stock ticker BX, and this is Blackstone Group. Again, as you can see, I bought some more BIG. I bought more stock ticker FDX. This is FedEx. More FHLC, and this is Fidelity Healthcare. It's a ETF. More General Motors. I added more HD, Home Depot. I added more LOGI. This is Logitech. I added more LUV, this is Southwest Airlines, more NTGR, this is Netgear. 
I added more stock ticker P E N N. This is Penn National Gaming. I added more stock ticker S M G. This is Scott's Miracle Grow. As you can see, I bought more Southwest Airlines. Decided to grab even more Netgear, more BX, more FHLC. This is the Fidelity ETF, more Home Depot, more GM, more Penn National Gaming, more Scott's Miracle Grow, more FedEx. So as you can see, I was buying the same stock over multiple days. And the reason I do that, you never know which way the market is going to go. You don't know if it's going up or down. So you kind of want to average it out. So I knew I wanted to buy uh, several shares and I just broke it down into maybe two or three, maybe even four buys over X number of days. Good practice. So let's look at what did I sell. So we're going to go back to the top and we're going to try to fly through this. So I sold some CHPT and this is charge point and the reason I sold this charge point is it was really dropping it was dropping like crazy and most tech stocks that I owned or own were really dropping so I decided to either sell because I didn't want my losses to be too big or I had a profit and decided to take some profit sell a stock and take that money and buy different stock I sold Stock ticker BABA, -B -A. this is Alibaba. And the reason I sold this stock, it was dropping, and it's been dropping for over a couple of months. And this is a Chinese company, it's similar to a Amazon. They sell a lot of products. And uh, I did make a little profit, so I wanted just to grab some. I didn't sell everything, so I still own this stock. Next stock that I sold was stock ticker B. E E M and this is Beam Global. I didn't sell all the stock, and again, what I wanted to do here was take some profit because it was dropping like crazy. I sold stock ticker C I I C, and this is C I I G Merger. That's the name of the company, and again, this stock was dropping like crazy. Uh, I was actually losing some money. Again, I just wanted to uh, sell some of the shares. I didn't sell all of them to use that money to buy something different. Now this stock, stock ticker LRN, this is Stride Incorporated. I completely cashed out of this stock. I have been losing money with this stock for many months. When I sold, I sold at a loss. I was down 30%. And again, the market was crashing. I said, you know what? I've been losing for a while. Just go ahead and cash out. Sometimes you have to do that. You just don't sit on losers and just keep losing. You, you don't do that. Don't do it. The next stock that I sold is stock ticker NIU. And this is NIU Technologies. I still own a couple of shares. Um, I was down when I sold it. Again, I just wanted to get some money and do something different. I sold stock ticker P A N W, and this is Palo Alto Networks. I was up pretty well. I, was, I made a decent profit. I decided to just take some of the profit and keep it moving. Stock ticker P S T H, this is Pershing Square. When I sold it, I was down just a little. I was uh, lost not even 2%, but this is a company I decided to just to sell some of the shares. I didn't cash out. And again, uh, I'm selling these shares to put into my uh, investment account to buy different stocks. So a lot of stocks that I already talked about um, just prior that I bought, I was selling and buying on the same day. So the next stock that was sold was stock ticker SKLZ, and this is Skills. And again, it was dropping very fast. I decided to get out. Stock ticker SPOT, this is 
Spotify. And again, I made a profit, decided to uh, just sell a little bit. Stock ticker SPT. This is Sprout Social. It was dropping really quickly. I actually broke even when I sold this, so no gain, no loss. But I got that money to do something else with. Stock ticker TTWO. This is Take Two Interactive. When I sold these shares, I was actually uh, losing a little money. I actually haven't owned these shares for too long, but when I saw it dropping like crazy, I decided to bail out. Not everything, just a couple of shares. I sold a couple of shares of stock ticker UPLD, and this is Upland Software. Uh, when I sold this stock, I pretty much broke even. Just wanted to grab some money. I still have some additional shares left. Let's talk about the part that I don't want to talk about. Where am I now and where was I two weeks ago? So let's go back to the top and we're going to go to my account and positions. And the value of my Roth IRA is 322,180 and 26 cents. The market is still open. As you know, it really doesn't close until 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to tell you what's going on, but it's going to be an approximate. But we're going to go here to stocks and rentals. We're going to hit the menu. And we're going to go to portfolio tracking. And we're going to look at the last time it was updated, which was on February 24th. And the value was $339,127.14. And here it is right here. And going back to where we are today, the difference is approximate. $16,844.05. That is negative. I was not clicking with the mouse on the right stuff in the last two weeks. That's a lot of money to lose, but the entire market was down. So if you were in the market, you probably failed. I don't know too many people that said in the last two weeks, they just made a ton of money. I don't care if you were in, um, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, they lost too. So that's what it is. It's the way the market works. If you're a long-term investor, you have nothing to worry about. I am not worrying because I will be in a market for years and the market will come back. I just can't tell you when. Today's gain, at least I made money today, $893.45. So that's good. And we want to look at my best performing and least performing stock. So my best performing stock is right here. I was up over 12%. I made over $66. The stock ticker is CIIC. The name of the company is CIIG Merger Corp. So up over 12%, I am happy. My least performing stock is, let's scroll down, right here. I was down almost 6.5%. I lost over $47. The stock ticker is NIU, and this is NIU Technologies. So I got a good stock and a bad stock and a whole bunch in between. So let me do a slow scroll of all my stocks so you can see what I have and what's good and what's bad. So you guys can pause this video and take your time and look at every stock that I own. You can see the profit. You can see the loss. 
You can see what I bought it at, the average price I paid, all that stuff. And again, you guys can pause the video at your leisure. All right, I'm talking about stocks. So you might be saying, man, I just found your channel kind of interesting what you're saying, but I don't know what to do. Well, you come right here to stocks and rentals. Click on the menu and I got something right here. It says new to stock investing start here. So click right here. And here you are, it's a total of eight steps and most of the steps have video to get you going. It's real simple, I take my time in each video, I don't leave out any steps. So I'm gonna walk you step by step through each video to get you to where you see that I am, which is right here. So you can start getting money like this and even more. So y'all know how it go. I make my money in stocks and rentals. Why would I try to get money from you? That makes no sense. Everything I do is free and to encourage you to invest in the stock market. Even when it's bad, I show the bad, but I love showing the good. If you guys are long-term investors, you will make money, I guarantee it. This is stocksandrentals.com. I am out, peace.